everyone is aware that success depends on having the correct habits, right? Well, the biggest influence on your life comes from the simple things you do each day. Just a question. Do you agree that the quality of your behaviors determines the quality of your life? One of the great writers on habits, decision making, and continuous improvement, James Clear has penned a guide on how to develop positive habits and eradicate negative ones. Join me as I discuss with you the true power of micro efforts to macro effects. The Power of Tiny Changes it's advisable to concentrate on your everyday routines and procedures during the self-development process rather than your long-term objectives. Objectives provide you with direction, but systems determine your course of action. The habit. A behavior that has been practiced frequently enough to become automatic is called a habit. Do you know the main goal of this? The ultimate goal of habits is to find the simplest, most efficient solutions to life's issues. A small habit that's a component of a bigger system, known as an atomic habit, serves as the foundation for extraordinary outcomes. The benefit of habits is that we can perform actions without having to think about them. But the drawback is that we cease noticing minor mistakes. So keep an eye on your performance over time by reflecting and reviewing. A great example. Little changes frequently don't seem to matter until you pass a crucial threshold. They may be thought of as a compound interest of self-improvement. For instance, if you can improve by just 1% per day, after a year, your results will be about 37 times better. How cool is that? Focusing on who you want to become rather than what you want to accomplish can help you modify your behaviors the most. While habits can help you achieve better achievements, the fundamental reason they matter is that they have the power to alter your self-perception. Do you know the first step to achieving good habits? It's not how or what, but it's always who. Yes, you heard that right. It's you to start the good habit. It's always within us. With behaviors that are outcome-based, the goal is the main focus. Identity-based habits put the emphasis on the person you want to become. The circle of feedback. A feedback loop with the four processes of trigger, craving, response, and reward can be used to analyze any habit. The cue causes a craving, which prompts a response, leads to a reward, fulfills the craving, and, in the end, causes the craving to become connected with the cue. Behavior change. Do you often change your behavior? Every time your behavior needs to be changed, awareness is the first step. Before you can alter your behaviors, you must be aware of them first. By verbalizing your behaviors, pointing and calling helps you move from an unconscious habit to a more conscious level of awareness. Just a tip, the habit scorecard is another easy exercise you can use to improve your level of awareness of your behavior. The four principles. Behavior modifications are a straightforward set of guidelines you may follow to create better habits. There, number one, make it evident. Number two, make it attractive. Number three, make it easy. And number four, make it rewarding. Try to maintain your new habit streak once you've altered your behavior. Don't ever miss twice. Try to get back on track as soon as you can if you skip one day. Maintain the chain. Now let me explain them to you one by one. The first is to make it evident or obvious with the cue. Every habit begins with a cue. Time and place are the two most typical cues you might use to pair a new behavior. Take note of this. The phrase, I will insert the behavior at insert the time at insert the location is the implementation intention formula. For example, I will cook at 5 p.m. in my kitchen. Your habits gradually start to be linked to the full context of behavior rather than just one specific trigger, and the context itself ends up serving as the cue. Make the signs of excellent habits clear in your environment since we're more likely to detect cues that stick out. With enough repetition, your brain will begin to recognize the signs that indicate particular outcomes without your awareness. Reminder, if you've noticed a harmful behavior, you should reverse this law and make it disappear. Reduce exposure to the cue that triggers temptation, since habits are difficult to be forgotten once they're developed. The second one is craving. Make it appealing or repulsive. This isn't about cravings for food that you want to eat. 
but rather the cravings to change your behavior at its finest. Is this clear? Great. The need to alter your interior condition is what craving is. We perform an action because we anticipate a reward, not because it's actually fulfilled. Let's insert a little science here. Dopamine spikes increase with anticipation, which increases our drive to take action. Your behaviors are actually caused by the forecast that comes before them, which then results in emotion. A quick and simple technique to reprogram your mind and make a habit seem more appealing is to frame your behaviors in a way that emphasizes their advantages rather than their disadvantages. For instance, you may change I'm nervous to I'm excited and the adrenaline rush is helping me focus. This has always been a great example. Trust me, this works all the time. Doing something you enjoy right before a challenging habit can help you establish a motivating routine since habits are more appealing when we associate them with pleasant experiences. If you play the same song before having intimate scenes every time for instance, you'll start to associate the music with the act. Simply hit play whenever you want to feel a certain way. Joining a culture where your desired behavior is the standard and you already share a characteristic with the group is another good strategy. Due to our strong need to be accepted, praised, and appreciated by others, as well as our desire to fit in and be a part of a tribe, this will make our preferred behaviors appear more desirable to family and friends, the many, and the powerful ones. In other words, the behaviors that appeal to us depend on the culture in which we live. When we associate habits with unpleasant emotions, they become undesirable. The best way to make a poor habit seem undesirable is to emphasize the advantages of quitting. As we always say, never give up and never say never. The next is the response. Make it simple or challenging. Human behavior adheres to the principle of minimal effort. Create an environment where doing the right thing is as simple as possible lessen the friction associated with good behaviors. When friction is low, habits are easy, and set up your environment to make future actions simpler. We naturally gravitate toward the option that requires the least amount of work. Focus on taking action rather than merely being in motion, since practice, not planning, is the most effective way to learn. The process of habit formation is when behavior becomes increasingly automatic through repetition. Hence, the length of time you've been engaging in the behavior is less significant than the number of times you've engaged in it. Standardize first, then optimize because you can't improve a habit that doesn't already exist. It ought to take you no more than two minutes to begin a new habit. The more you ritualize the start of a process, the easier it'll be for you to enter the deep attention needed to do great things. Finding the ideal amount of difficulty is crucial since the Goldilocks rule argues that humans are most motivated when working on activities that are just outside of their present capacity. The next is to make it satisfying or unsatisfactory as a reward. Who doesn't want rewards after all, right? Let's be real, we all like rewards. The likelihood that a behavior will be carried out this time is increased by the first three laws of behavior change. Make it evident make it appealing, and make it simple. As we're more inclined to repeat behaviors when the experience is fulfilling, the fourth law of behavior change, make it satisfying, increases the likelihood that a behavior will be repeated the following time. The human brain has evolved to give preference to recent rewards over future ones. Immediately rewarding behavior is repeated, and instantly punishing behavior is avoided. Hence, in order for a habit to take hold, you must feel successful right away, even if only slightly. The sense of progress is among the most fulfilling emotions. A habit tracker is a quick and easy way to determine whether you followed a habit, like crossing something off a calendar. Offering tangible evidence of your progress, habit trackers and other visual kinds of measurement can make your habits more gratifying. But a drawback is, the fourth law of behavior change is inverted. If a harmful habit causes us pain or dissatisfaction, we're less inclined to continue it. This also aids in keeping the promises of good behavior. Because we care so much about what other people think of us and don't want them to think less of us, an accountability partner can make inaction have an instant penalty. Any behavior can have a social cost added to it via a habit contract. Take note of this. 
you can create lasting habits by following these four-step procedures I've mentioned. By executing them in this order, you can see where you can adjust your own performance to move you toward your goal, get over the initial hurdle of attempting a new behavior, and persevere long enough to see the benefits. As soon as you establish a habit, you immediately take important steps towards achieving your goal. When we strive for constant improvement in every aspect of our everyday life and create new habits that reflect it, excellent performance gradually becomes the norm. The grade will handle itself. Success is a process that must constantly be improved. It's not a destination to be reached. There's no end goal. You can cycle through the laws of behavior change whenever you want to do better until you identify the next problem area, constantly seeking out new ways to improve by 1%. If you keep going, you can create some amazing things. That's the power of atomic habits, tiny changes to remarkable results. I hope you received value from this video. If so, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. Please share this video with your like-minded friends. Till next time.